the two Cercropia caterpillars I got um, July about July 30th it is now August 14th um, how big they are here's one here might be getting ready to make his cocoon the other one has already started making his cocoon right over here if you can see those strands you see if I can zoom in a little bit see those strands there and he is hiding right in there now I'm not going to take the leaves apart but he has already started making his cocoon for the winter I will probably keep him um, in a jar maybe put him in the refrigerator or keep him in um, my cage outside let me see if I can get a better picture from the top here he is from the top put him on You can see all the strands there. So here's the complete cocoon. From the Cercropia caterpillar. Here I peeled a couple leaves off it and there's the Cecropia cocoon. The leaves were just sticking a little bit to it, not much. But there's what they the cocoon looks like. The other caterpillar is still eating a little bit. I believe they eat mostly at night, so he's just laying there, or he's just hanging on there. So these are both the cocoons from the Cecropia moth caterpillars and we'll probably have them all winter long and they'll hatch next spring. Okay, so these are the two Cecropia um, cocoons that I have and I think for the winter time I'm going to put them in this is one of my nets that I have, or my cages. I just got all my monarch butterflies that were in it um, hatched. They had made chrysalises in there. So I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit and get all that cleaned up and put the uh, cocoons right in there for the winter. I am gonna keep them outside somewhere, maybe right up against the house. Um, but I feel like them being outside in the winter instead of in the refrigerator or freezer that somebody had suggested. I feel like I wanna um, keep them out in the natural habitat. So that's what I'm gonna do for the winter.